Hey guys, it's Harley, and today I thought I would do an updated houseplant tour video. This is my spring edition. Technically, it's not spring yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video. And y'all know, I've been talking about spring for weeks, even though there's still plenty of snowstorms on schedule. <laughs> If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And as always, I have all of my favorite products linked in the description as well. If you're wondering what kind of soil or plant food or things like that I use, they are linked in the description box. But yeah, let's just get into it. I think that's it. I kind of ramble, don't know what I've said. I kind of go blank when I'm about to film. No matter how many times I sit down to film a video, I'm still just uncomfortable. <laughs> let's just get into it. Okay, so starting in the same corner I always start in, this is my uh, counter space next to the sink. Here I have a green Maranta plant, which I forgot to water, so it's kind of crisping up. Next to it, I have a Freddy Calathea, I think that one's called. And then I have no idea what this piece lily is, but I really like it because the edges are like ruffly. I don't know, it's really beautiful. I love the texture on it. But yeah, there's that space. Swinging you just across the way, here's my lemon lime Maranta. This plant has been doing really well. There's lots of new growth. I've taken seriously so many cuttings from this plant. I'll show you a few of them later that I've done for the shop, so yeah. But it's still just popping out new growth. Like, it's invincible, I guess. Uh, then over here on the floor, ignore all of Ryan's army stuff. He just got home from drill. Um, I have my largest snake plant, variegated cast iron plant, which is just a section of it. This guy, oh, it's actually not this one. The other one has been putting out a lot of new growth lately. Um, and then down here on the floor, I have my, oh gosh, what are you? People told me what this was called, but I forgot. It's some type of stromanth, I think. Uh, then I have my ZZ and my philodendron brantianum. So there's the ant. And then you can see there's the rest of the plants and a bunch of dirty dishes. We're gonna ignore that. So up against the wall, this is where my um, Ikea stand used to be. I've really moved quite a bit around, but I have a bunch of Calathea. I have this Calathea, I think it's the Burl Marks variety. I have a watermelon Pelionia there. Here I have my Beauty Star, Ew, Beauty Star peacock plant. Here is my rattlesnake Calathea. I haven't cut the, um, Crispy leaves yet. Those are the same crispy leaves as last time, but all the new growth is crisp free. So we good. And then my Calathea Macayana, Macoyana, Macayana, I don't know, that I got from Hertz that isn't the happiest, but it's also not too unhappy. I think it's fine. Um, and then here I just have a couple of jewel orchids. Oh, and then an air plant in there. A whole bunch of potting supplies, which looks like crap, but I need to figure out a better situation for that. Once it warms up, this is all going to go outside, so eh, it is what it is. And then here I have my Lickety Split Philodendron, which I really love the way it looks here, and it actually is super, super happy. Yeah, I like it there. Moving on down the window, there's a... Uh, doggy. Then I have a spider plant, some Aglionema Maria, and some Aglionema, Aglionema Golden Bay that I have listed on the website that I just um, recently potted up. And then down here I have my little Oxalis I told you guys about in my last haul video. Here's a mirror. There's a Harley. Um, then here is my fan pop, which I recently hauled as well. It seems to be pretty happy here. And on the floor is my... What are you? <sighs> Tananthi, I think. Then a Taniki rubber tree, my burgundy rubber tree, hidden pretty far up there. The strawberry and cream rubber tree. And then my ficus Audrey, who loves it here. That's such an easy ficus. If you struggle with ficus, I highly recommend this variety. It's just really easy. Pretty, pretty fuss free, so. Um, and then just on the TV stand here, I have a, this one's called a moon something, Chinese evergreen, and then my Fetsia japonica, which I absolutely love. So yeah, let's get a good, good view of all the plants lined up there and all the dog toys. Yep, a napping dog in all of his toys. I have my white butterfly arrowhead, which is getting more green. I don't know. I got this one from my grandma. It was one of my first plants. Here I have a Syngonia macrophyllum, I believe, from Arian Botanicals. My crocodile fern, which surprise, surprise, is still alive. I was so worried about this guy. There is a little bit of browning on it, but nothing too major, so I'm happy. Here I have my Impatience Morsier, Morsier. 
I got from Steve's Leaves, which I absolutely love. This guy is so underrated. It's just absolutely beautiful. On the stool here, we have some variegated Maranta, green Maranta I've propagated from my main plant, some Tenanthe, and then a whole bunch of lemon lime Marantas, which are propagated and also available in the shop. I'm sorry I keep mentioning the shop, but that's what all this is. So uh, then up here, I have more lemon lime back there propagating my Syngonium Albo Variegata. Oh gosh, what are you? I forget the name of this one, but it's another type of Syngonium. It's the one I just hauled. Then over here, I have my pink Syngonium, my Syngonium Maria, Syngonium Maria, which has been popping out lots of new growth, some confetti Syngonium I'm propagating, Albo Variegata I'm propagating, pink ones I'm propagating, and then Monstera I'm propagating. Just on the floor here, I have my Medallion Calathea, which is surprisingly pretty happy. I don't worry too much about browning unless it's like full leaves, but he's been growing, so I think it's fine. Here I have my White Fusion, which is just lovely. A lot of people have said this is a difficult Calathea, but I don't know, it's been actually pretty easy. Maybe it's because I have a larger pot size of it, so maybe more mature plants are easier, I don't know. And then another type of Calathea, which I forget the name of, but it's the one with like the velvety leaves and the purple undersides. Ooh, I love that. There's some Cebu Blue propagating in water. Philodendron Brantianum also propagating in water. That guy's not too happy, but it's something. And then here I have a royal purple creeping Charlie. I think this one is called. And I really like it, surprisingly. Uh, and then just moving you over here to the bookcase. Skindapsis pictus. I propagated my pink princess philodendron, which I put in water. I was just kind of worried about it. So I just put it in that water and it is getting a new leaf. So I think it's happy. Dichidia, Dicidia whatever Ovada that I got from Steve's Leaves I recently hauled. And then my Kalanchoe Uniflora, Golden Pothos, which is just trailing down there, popping out new growth, like it's happy or something. Back here I have my Painted Lady, which is one single leaf at this point. I got it from Arian Botanicals, Golden Pothos. And then here I have a White Butterfly Arrowhead I, I've propagated. This guy actually has some, some roots on him. Did you see that larger one? Yeah, quite a bit of roots. It's really happy in here with these uh, other plants. So I also have it propagating with a ZZ and then also my Marimo balls and they all seem pretty happy together. One big happy family. Here I have a lemon lime philodendron. So there's all of that. Oh, I didn't even talk about this. Here I have my ficus altissima, which isn't the worst, the most difficult ficus. As you can see, we've had some struggles. It had so many more leaves when I brought it home, but upon bringing it home, all of the leaves fell off and it basically was just like a stick, but I kept taking care of it and I gave it really good Southern light and it popped out new growth. So I think that these plants are just prone to shot. You just gotta wait it out, you know? Yeah, really cool variegation. So there is actually the full, <laughs> Okay. Ignore my husband's army stuff. I'm too lazy to move um, and he's too lazy to put away. I have some monster, which I recently propagated or potted up from propagating in a video. I have an alocasia of some sort down there. It claims this is a low rider, but another one I have also claims to be a low rider. So I'm not sure which is which. Here I have my red emerald philodendron, which I absolutely love. Um, my variegated peace lily. A crap ton of monstera adansonii I'm propagating. One of my large adansonii plants, which I need to hang somewhere. Then back here, I have my Norfolk Island Pine, which has been here since day one, and I love it so, so much. It's just a really unique plant and pretty fuss free. And then here's that other alocasia that claims to be a low rider, although I'm not sure. It looks more like not a low rider to me, so I don't know what that is. Then moving up here to this bench, I actually thrifted this bench for $5 like a month ago, and I really, really love it. I have my other large monster adansonii, which I don't know what happened, just like a whole bunch of leaves all at once turned yellow, then brown and fell off, but the rest of it is absolutely fine. So just kind of doing some weird things. And then here I have my cut last Chinese evergreen, which really, really needs some water. I'm gonna do that right after this video. Then I have my giant peace lily plant and my confetti syngonium. These guys get some pretty indirect Southern light and I think most of them are happy. Oh my gosh, you know what? I forgot to show you this. Anyway, it's an asparagus fern. You probably can't see cause the lighting is crap. Like long tendrils like that popping out now all over the place. 
I think it's pretty happy here. I love this plant. Super underrated, if you ask me. This used to be over on this wall over there, but I moved it here because I needed to put propagations for the shop and stuff here to get better light. Up here I have my jasmine, which is just taken off. A lot of the blooms have dried up by now, so I need to go outside and like shake it. <laughs> I just hate when they fall off in my house. I just have kind of let them be here. I have some golden pothos I recently potted up. Um, a palm, which a lot of you told me was an areca, areca palm. Aglionema, a little Cebu blue. My Hoya tricolor, shrub raisin cream tricolor. A jasmine plant, which is going on the shop. Some more jade potho. My big old ivy, which I really, really love. We have a whole bunch of ruby cascade here. Some six inch oxalis plants. Some Sansevieria cylindrica, the salad fingers kind. Strawberry begonia. What are you? Raphidophora cryptantha, I want to say. And I did make a thing to pot him up with so that he can grow up it. So I'm going to be doing a video on that soon. There's some devil's backbone back there. Ponytail palms. Black pagoda lip stick plants which I'm propagating for the shop although we do have a whole bunch available already some crown of thorns another oxalis and some more cylindrical sansevieria down here is the hoya chelsea section look at this guy he's so cute hoya chelsea there then over here we have a whole bunch of hoya bilabata which is also on the shop some more adansonii which i've potted up they're not quite ready for the shop yet but hopefully soon back there are some variegated lipstick plants that I separated off my main plant that I was thinking of putting on the shop, although I'm not sure. Whew, there's a lot of plants. Back there we have some gold illusion and berry illusion and white butterfly syngonium arrowhead plants, a larger ponytail palm, oxalis, sansevieria, more oxalis, a schefflera, spike moss that plant's really really cool in this jar i have a bunch of just peperomia leaves propagating goldfish plant monstera siltipicana 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 um white butterfly arrowheads philodendron brazil more cylindrical sansevieria and angel wing begonia and then back there i have some monstera adansonii cuttings that i am propagating but I'm doing an experiment with it so we'll see how that goes. Purple Passion which initially was up on this row moved it down here because the dog actually knocked it over and I'm not sure if it's going to survive. Back there I have a whole bunch of Monstera and then pretty much the rest of this is Monstera cuttings on this side here. There's some more Sansevieria, um, some pink Syngoniums, Peperomia, Obtusifolia, there, Skindapsis, Pictus, and then my Pilea. Hartley Philodendron, a Sansevieria, a uh, Neon pothos, oxalis, a cissus, rotundifolia maybe. Um, this is actually philodendron pain pendatum pendatum somebody corrected me in my video and you're absolutely right i was confused because a few of the leaves have come in like this yeah back there is my silver sword philodendron more oxalis my burl marks philodendron which was a gift from my mom some more adansonii and Pro peperomia prostrata cuttings in here i have a whole bunch of my philodendron xanadu um adansonii raphidophora tetrasperma black pagoda lipstick plant and then my main raphidophora plant, which is taking off and is one of the main reasons I think it's spring. Gosh, that was a lot of freaking plants to go through. Not all of these are mine, like I said. A lot of them are for the shop, but mostly the top row is mine. So now facing you the other way, I have another piece of my variegated cast iron plant, my variegated monstero. So no new growth yet, but I'm sure soon it's going to start growing more quickly. Here I have some Cebu blue pothos and then a large black pagoda lipstick plant, which is the mother plant of pretty much all these other black pagodas. Down back on the floor, I have my Homolomina emerald gem. Hartley philodendron I'm propagating in water. This ficus audrey, I'm gonna pull it out and show you. It has really good roots from my how to propagate any ficus plant video. Crown of thorns, a whole bunch of those black pagoda plants that are listed on the shop already. My desert rose, whatever. Not doing too hot, I don't know what's going on. Um, some fiddle leaf fig propagations that are now up on the shop. A coffee plant, um, a portulaca maraca cluster, or not variegated, my flowering maple plant. This guy is so soft and so beautiful and it had flowers, they all dropped off. It seriously is in bloom all the time. I mean, you can see maybe there's a bud there and then a little bud there. So it's about to flower again 
and he's just really content and happy. I highly, highly recommend him. There I have my Trandescantia and my Fiddly Fig, which has gotten a lot bigger since last year. Then moving you up top here, I have a Golden Pothos. I'm out of breath. A uh, Cebu Blue Pothos. Um, Swedish Ivy, maybe, I think people told me. On the other side here, I have more Neon Pothos and then my Valentine. Chinese evergreen. Some jade, some Kalanchoe panamensis propagations, my lithop, some type of euphorbia, I forget the name, my fairy castle cactus, this plant that's from Costa Rica that people tell me the name of and I keep forgetting, uh, some avocado plants, and then this one, which, what are you again? Got this one in a plant swap and I don't know what it is, but it's really cool. <laughs> So then down on this next row, I have my main Kalanchoe panamensis. This guy was tiny when I first got it. Some more Kalanchoe, but I forget the name of it. Some aloe, euphorbia, watch chain, variegated jade, some little propagations. Um, and then there's a few random succulents up front there. Here is my main coral fire aloe, which this guy's actually a baby of this guy. Um, some creeping Charlie propagations, more crown of thorns, and then string of buttons. So that's that. Now we are in my bedroom and we have my Monstera Deliciosa plant. This is my pride and joy, honestly. Um, moving up is my Philodendron Meekins. Mykins, Meekins, whatever. He's not growing too crazy. There's some new little growth coming in, but then up here we have my Skindapsis Pictus, which is another pride and joy plant for me. Ooh, that's an ugly leaf. Eh, it's fine. Bonnie spy spider plant, basically just a curly spider plant, and my string of hearts, which I thought I overwatered and killed, and I basically killed most of it, but the rest of it here is pretty happy and growing, so can't complain, he's making a comeback. Lace flower vine, which I love. The new growth comes in so cute. Um, here I have some lemon lime pothos. Lipstick plant, which kind of froze as I was bringing it in from the nursery. So it has a lot of brown tips, but you can see there's new growth up there, so it's fine. Philodendron Brazil, which has just been a joy. It's really, really gotten big. String of hooks, I think. Also been a joy, it grows really fast. My bridal veil, which I don't know what's going on. Like there's new growth. It gets a lot of light, but it's really crispy and I do water this every week, so I don't know. But it's gotten so much longer since I brought it home. Here I have my chenille plant, which one of the flowers is drying up, but it's getting in new ones. Really exciting. I really, really love this plant. Recommend it for sure. Flowers all the time. Here I have my lipstick plant which is also about to bloom. There's little buds everywhere. Right next to that is my Hoya Publicalix, which look at those new leaves right there, how cute. My main variegated lipstick plant, which needs water desperately. A little burrows tail, a Hoya Abovada, which is just loving its life right here next to the donkey tail. Here I have another Skindapsis, the smaller variety. I need to water it. Um, Peace Lily needs watered really bad. <laughs> I have a lot of watering to do. I should have done it before filming this. Here I have a pothos, which it's kind of weird. I don't know why these two largest leaves, I don't know if they just lived their life, but just the two of them died out of nowhere, the two largest ones, but the rest of the plant is completely fine. So I don't know what's going on there. My smaller peace lily, Peperomia frost. Love this little guy. Um, my variegated Peperomia obtusifolia, this begonia, which people tell me is a Rex begonia, but I don't know what kind, like what variety, because I think there's more than one type of Rex begonia, you know? Um, my mother of millions. Peperomia emerald ripple, which also needs watered. A little piece of Hoya Chelsea, which this leaf is not looking too hot, but the rest of it's fine. Some aloe. Oh, people told me the name of this and I just cannot remember. Drunkard's Dream or something like that. An African Violet and then Hoya Billabada. Right next to the window, we have my Lapismium cruciform. Cruciforme, cruciform, I don't know. Another really cool plant I highly, highly recommend. Yeah, that's the entire room. Really messy, just ignore that, it's fine. But yeah, I know it kind of seems like I have less plants. I don't know if it seems like that to you guys, but to me it seems like I have less plants. They're not taking up as much of my house, but it's just where I keep the plants, I've kind of packed them in the same places together more densely. So there's less plants all over, more plants 
group together because the places where plants are happy, I've been kind of grouping them more instead of trying to keep them on every surface of my house, if that makes sense. Focus. So that is it for this video. Please let me know what you thought of it. If you have any tips or recommendations for what I should do with certain plants that you didn't think look too happy. I think for the most part, they're all happy, but every once in a while, I guess there's one here and there that just, I don't know what's going on, you know? That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see my next one. Bye.